Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. And if you are watching this video, it's because you probably watched my previous video about how to configure Aviva Edge to send emails using us an SMTP uh, server. And well, on that example, I used Gmail, which is very popular and very simple to configure. Uh, but uh, now today, well, April, um, June 2022, that, that, that option is no longer working. The, the, what I explained on that video uh, is a procedure that is no longer working. And this is because Gmail is a couple of weeks ago uh, disabled the option to, to turn on the access for less secure apps. So this option is no longer available. And well, Gmail put a notification here starting from May. Uh, 30, 2022, well, that option is no longer an option. So that video is basically uh, use, useless uh, right now. So I wanted to record this video so you can I can show you an, a different option to use Gmail. So uh, what I found is that we can still use Gmail, uh, but we need to do a couple of things to, to configure Avivage to use your Gmail account. So the first thing to do is go to your account settings. So if we click here and go to manage your account, your Google account, and we scroll, go to security. We scroll down a little bit. We will have this uh, sign in into Google uh, panel. Uh, you can change the password here. You can enable to a step verification and you have an app passwords option also. The app passwords option is the one that we will be using. Uh, but in order to have this app passwords option enabled in your Gmail account, it's mandatory to enable to a step verification. You should have this turned on. If you don't have this turned on, the app passwords option won't be available for your account. So if you don't have that, start by enabling uh, two step verification for your account. I have that already enabled. Uh, so what I can do is go directly to app passwords. You click to uh, in app passwords, it will ask for the password. Where is the password for this? I think I remember the password. Okay, it will send notification because I have the two password, the two factor authentication enabled. So it's, it's code. And yeah, here in application password, well, he, here it is in Spanish, but well, it basically say, says applications password. Uh, you need to select an application. You can select the last option, which is other. Uh, custom name, I, I can tell, I can call it uh, Aviva Edge, for instance. And here you can click on generate and it will generate a password. So this password, I will put this password in a, in a notepad. And this is my application password, by the way, I will delete this password later after finishing this video recording. So it's not, it's, not, it's okay that you guys can, can see it. Um, so yeah, this is the password. And to use that password, I can test very quick with an application called uh, JV Mail. So I use the same application in my previous video. I will leave the link in the description if you didn't see it, but uh, to use this application, using this application is very simple. So I will start JV Mail, and I have some send settings here. I will, well, I delete this in fact, and start over. So let me go. Here I can, I can, yeah, I can modify this. So my name is Indosoft and the uh, email is Indosoft backup at uh, gmail.com. The protocol is SSL direct, which is the protocol that we support. The SMTP host is correct, that's, that's that one. 
I need to change the username here. And the password uh, should be my application password, which is already here. So I will copy this and put my application password here. And I will save that as a, a Gmail to maybe. And I will go to account, I will compose an email and I will use the Gmail to us email sending server uh, parameters. I will send an email to, to in the soft backup uh, gmail.com. Subject will be test one, body test one, send. You will get this certificate handshake. Uh, you can accept that. And this uh, JB mail tool is able to send the email. If that's happening, that means that the issue work also on every batch. So uh, we can configure, or I will create a new project because I don't know why, what I did on this project. It's a new project without any configuration. So I will configure the uh, email FTP settings. Um, the email is uh, in the soft backup at Viva, sorry, at gmail.com. We'll copy this. The SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. I need to enable SSL. The username is this and the password is the one that they have in the notepad. I try to send an email to in the soft backup at gmail.com. It will send the email. If I check my account. This is the test from JB Mail, and this is the test from Aviva Edge. So it's working if you want to maybe configure your alarm worksheet. You only need to configure the two um, in the soft backup gmail.com as the destination of the mail. It's a trigger, I will change it to second to make it quick. Uh, the one will be my tag, uh, limit one, and all are, will be the message. So start the runtime. If I set this to one, it should be in. Should be an alarm st status. It, it's an alarm state, and I have the alarm notification here. So yeah, it's working. 